hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's a goal churches teaches in today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you guys the steps i took in making this round puffer bag so guys if this sounds like something you're interested to know the steps i took in making this bag without further ado let's get started i'm working with one yard of dull face material when choosing material for the making of this bag i suggest you work with a light material just like this one i'm working with because you'll be adding foam to the material which will make the whole bag thick i'll also be working with a belt and this is specifically a gucci branded belt right now i'm going to fold the material once just like this to be able to cut out both the front and back of this bag i'm going to first of all cut out something like rectangle the width is 25 inches and the length is 20 inches so from that rectangle i can now create the size of my circle or if you already have a round pattern you can just trace it out on your material I wanted to cut out the front and back at the same time where I worked on one first and I worked on the second one later on. So guys watch carefully how I'm folding this one piece to create my circle so that you also do the same to yours. From this pointed part, I'm going to measure what I have and when I measured it, I got 10 inches. So I'm going to mark 10 inches round and the head of my tape will stay at this pointed part of this material. After I was done creating the round shape, I'm going to go on and cut out a foam for both of them. So the width I'm going to be marking for each space of the boxes i'm actually trying to form will be three inches 
when the inspiration of this bag popped on my head i was like oh my god i don't have a round travel bag so i wanted something that is very fancy and classy at the same time you understand of this portable bag even if you carry it you'll be like wow where's this bag from you understand so i just decided to film the video and teach you guys the process i took in designing mine so if you have been watching this tutorial at this point and you haven't yet subscribed uh -uh, what are you waiting for subscribe to this channel for more beautiful videos like this to come give this video a thumbs up because it is already coming out nice and i know you're going to like love it yes <laughs> so comment on what you think about this video and let's keep going I'm also going to be marking another line top of this first line to create that rumpus shape. You understand? It will not be in a box form but in a rumpus shape. So you see after marking the second line on top of the first line, you see that that rumpus shape is already coming out. After I was done using my pin to hold it, I'm going to go right to my sewing machine and follow this marked line and stitch on it. So before I mark, follow the straight line and stitch on it, I'm going to first of all stitch the round of the circle so that I won't get any complication. Stitch the round of the circle before following the lines. The length of my belt is 100 inches. I'm going to divide it for the front and back of this bag. So each front or back takes length of belt 50 inches. So in the placing of this barrel to the material to stitch it up, I came in by 6 inches on both parts of the bag as you can see. So it's very very important to take measurements, whatever you take the other part, make sure you take the other part. So I'm going to place this my belt accurately like this following that uh, 6 inches part I marked. I'll use my pin to hold the belt to the material. I'm going to mark down two inches this two inches is where i'm going to start the stitching of the handle to the bag After I was done stitching the handle, I'm going to now stitch 
the lining to it. So guys, on how I added the zip to the side of this bag, I have a detailed tutorial on how you can add a zip to your bag. If you haven't yet watched it guys, I'm going to drop the link in the description box for you guys to go and check it out. When you measure the round of the bag, the measurement you get should be equal to the measurement of the side. If it's not equal, your bag may have issues when joining the side to the bag. So guys, I uploaded a video recently on how to make a backpack. If you haven't yet watched it, I'm going to drop the link in the description box. It will also help you in the making of this particular one. I'm going to be joining the side to the body of the bag. To join this, you find the center of the side and find the center of the bag and go and stitch it up. After I was done with the stitching, this is how it looks like. I also cover the rough edges with my lining and I'm going to turn the bag inside out. So guys, these are steps I took in the making of this round puffer bag. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more beautiful videos to come turn on your notification bell to be the first to be notified when i upload new video thank you guys for watching and see you all in my next tutorial bye